In number theory, Skewer's number is any of several extremely large numbers used by the South African mathematician Stanley Skews as upper bounds for the smallest natural number x for which where pi is the prime counting function and li is the logarithmic integral function. These bounds have since been improved by others. There is a crossing near. It is not known whether it is the smallest. Skewer's numbers John Enzer Littlewood, who was Skewer's research supervisor, had proved in Littlewood that there is such a number, and indeed found that the sign of the difference by minus Li changes infinitely often. All numerical evidence then available seemed to suggest that pi was always less than Li. Littlewood's proof did not, however, exhibit a concrete such number x. Skews proved that, assuming that the Riemann hypothesis is true, there exists a number x violating pi less than Li below in Skews. Without assuming the Riemann hypothesis, Skews was able to prove that there must exist a value of x below Skewer's task was to make Littlewood's existence proof effective, exhibiting some concrete upper bound for the first sign change. According to George Kreisel, this was at the time not considered obvious even in principle. Although both skewers' numbers are very large compared to most numbers encountered in mathematical proofs, neither is anywhere near as large as Graham's number. More recent estimates These upper bounds have since been reduced considerably by using large-scale computer calculations of zeros of the Riemann zeta function. The first estimate for the actual value of a crossover point was given by Lehman, who showed that somewhere between 1.53 times 101,165 and 1 1.65 times 101,165 there are more than 10,500 consecutive integers x with pi greater than Li, without assuming the Riemann hypothesis. J.J. Tayrila proved an upper bound of 7 times 10,370. A better estimation was 1.39822 times 10,316 discovered by Bazin Hudson. Chow and Plimmon gave a small improvement in correction to the result of Bazin Hudson. Bazin Hudson found a few much smaller values of x where pi gets close to Li. The possibility that there are crossover points near these values does not seem to have been definitely ruled out yet, though computer calculations suggest they are unlikely to exist. Sauter and Demichel find a smaller interval for a crossing, which was slightly improved by Zegowitz. The same source shows that there exists a number x violating pi less than Li below. The exponent could be reduced to 727.9513386111, assuming Riemann hypothesis. Rigorously, Rosser and Schoenfeld proved that there are no crossover points below x equals 108, and this lower bound was subsequently improved by Brent to a times 1010, by Kotnuk to 1014, by Platt and Trudgeon to 1.39 times 1017, and by Brother to 1019. There is no explicit value x known for certain to have the property pi greater than Li. Though computer calculations suggest some explicit numbers that are quite likely to satisfy this, Wintner showed that the proportion of integers for which pi greater than Li is positive, and Rubinstein and Sarnak showed that this proportion is about 0000026, which is surprisingly large given how far one has to go to find the first example. Riemann's formula. Riemann gave an explicit formula for pi, whose leading terms are where the sum is over zero's row of the Riemann zeta function. The largest error term in the approximation pi equals Li is Li, too, showing that Li is usually larger than pi. The other terms above are somewhat smaller, and moreover tend to have different complex arguments so mostly cancel out. Occasionally however, many of the larger ones might happen to have roughly the same complex argument, in which case they will reinforce each other instead of cancelling and will overwhelm the term Li, too. The reason why the skews number is so large is that these smaller terms are quite a lot smaller than the leading error term, mainly because the first complex zero of the zeta function has quite a large imaginary part. 
so a large number of them need to have roughly the same argument in order to overwhelm the dominant term. The chance of n random complex numbers having roughly the same argument is about 1 in 2n. This explains why pi is sometimes larger than li, and also why it is rare for this to happen. It also shows why finding places where this happens depends on large-scale calculations of millions of high-precision zeros of the Riemann zeta function. The argument above is not a proof, as it assumes the zeros of the Riemann zeta function are random which is not true. Roughly speaking, Littlewood's proof consists of Dirichlet's approximation theorem to show that sometimes many terms have about the same argument. In the event that the Riemann hypothesis is false, the argument is much simpler, essentially because the terms Li for zeros violating the Riemann hypothesis are eventually larger than Li. The reason for the term is that, roughly speaking, counts not primes, but powers of primes weighted by, and is a sort of correction term coming from squares of primes.